This is my entry for the uh, 2018 Flashing Light Prize. As usual, I've left it till the last moment, so I threw this together with whatever junk I had on my desk. Uh, this is not the safest of entries, as we can see we have a uh, breadboard project here with mains coming straight into it. But it's, uh, it's relatively straightforward, and what it's doing is it's essentially dividing down the 60 hertz mains here in the US to 2 hertz, and then using that 2 hertz to clock a neon um, bistable. So let's start with the power supply, it's pretty uninteresting, we've got mains coming in, we're rectifying, just peak rectifying, and we have a you know, capacitor to give us a high voltage DC power supply, around 170-ish volts. Um, this is a low voltage power supply, and the only reason I even need this is because it just happened that I didn't have any high voltage transistors, on my, uh, PMP transistors in particular, sitting on my desk. So um, I had MPSA 42s, which I've used in for all the NPNs, which are suitable for high voltages, but... They are, um, this PNP over here, which I'll talk about in a minute, um, I did not have a high voltage one that could withstand the voltages, so I built this little, you know, 17-ish volt or somewhere between 12 and 17 volt low voltage power supply, because the uh, the rest of the circuit doesn't require very much current, so it's fine to just drop it over a uh, with a this you know single transistor. Okay, so the uh, the heart of the thing here, which is you know the divide by two basically, is a pretty straightforward neon sort of monostable or bistable ring counter. Um, you've probably seen this circuit before. I think I've explained it in one of my other videos, but essentially um, one of the neons will fire first when the circuit first powers up. That will drop a voltage, you know, there's current passing through one of these legs, it'll drop a, vol a voltage across this resistor, which will then, when you transiently remove the supply voltage and then reapply it, it will bias the other neon um, through these capacitors to start before the one that was on, so it'll flop backwards and forwards between the two. This capacitor just gives you the rail um, to, you know, a chance to recover slowly as it recharges, which is kind of important to uh, let the, you know, extinguish the, the ionization in one of the neons, because this pulse can be very, very narrow. Um, so yeah, 2 hertz pulse, ne needle pulse essentially comes into here, removes the supply voltage and then lets it recover and it will flop from one neon to the other. And this is the, I guess, the real heart of it. This is a, um, a divide by 30. So again, I think I've uh, probably shown this circuit before, but it's essentially a capacitive divider. So you have your mains coming in here, and on uh, on every you know forward cycle, it turns on this transistor, which um, pulls down this end of this capacitor. This capacitor is you know about one thirtieth the size of um, this capacitor, and it will pull the emitter here below the base, the base will turn on, and it will conduct current until it charges this capacitor. That amount of charge will get deposited, or removed in this case, I guess, if you think about conventional current, out of this capacitor. And that will happen on each cycle. This voltage, you know, if you start thinking about this with this charged all, or charged all, like, completely discharged, so this is sitting at, um, you know, the full LVDC voltage, and every time it pulls out a little bit of current, eventually it'll get to the point where the base emitter junction here is forward biased, and this will conduct um, this, you know, um, pair that I use quite a lot, will conduct momentarily and recharge the capacitor. The, uh, that will generate a current pulse in this resistor, which is useful as the output signal, which gets basically driven straight into this guy and clocks this guy. So, super straightforward. Threw it together with whatever I have here on the table. Had to play with this capacitor value a little bit. There's a couple of capacitors in there, just um, you know, across it to, to get it exactly right. Because obviously this isn't the the exact recharge point. This is a uh, the pulse is almost full scale, apart from the full LVDC, except for the saturation voltage of this transistor. And this has a you know a definite turn on point. So the the ratio isn't exactly right, but you have to play with that to make it divide it down correctly. But it's very digital, and um, I would probe this. And as a matter of fact, I have it on an isolation variac, and I was probing it earlier. But uh, right now, it's uh, it's quite late, and I'm going to go home. I'll probably build this up into something a little bit more permanent, but uh, seems to do the job. The neon, extra neon bulb there is just a you know dangerous voltage is on the board at the time pilot lamp. But uh, Super straightforward. Unfortunately, most of my glass blowing equipment, everything else, is still packed up after that we moved offices here. Otherwise, I probably would have made some um, extra, you know, cool neon discharge tube of my own. I was also playing with a ring counter here that was dividing down the mains using neon trigger tubes, but I ran into um, some variability problems with the 
no, not the physical size of some of the um, the actual tubes themselves and their electrical properties because they're kind of old. But uh, I do want to finish that at some point, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a entry for the flashing light prize this year. Alrighty, thanks very much. Bye.